you get it. Okay. You won't make it to Africa. Love you. This is it. Back home with you. But finally here. The time has finally come. I am headed to South Africa and I couldn't be more full of so many emotions. I'm, I'm excited. I am super nervous. I am um, honored. Just so many things. One of the hardest parts, of course, is saying goodbye to John because it's gonna be two weeks. We have not been apart that long, um, our entire relationship. So that that's, that's pretty difficult. But um, knowing the adventure that lies ahead and him knowing what I'm getting ready to embark on, you know, it was okay. It was okay. So I'm getting to the airport and I go in and I'm settling in and I'm looking around to see for the other staff members and the students that are going. I was about to see y'all, them walking up. I said, oh, they sure look familiar. And I said, one, two, three, four. Wait a minute, this is my people. <laughs> my nieces and nephews and my mom have come to the airport to surprise me, to see me off. And the immediate tears that happened. They tricked me. He's right here. No. You came to the airport? Yes, it's you. <laughs> to see their faces and to be able to hug them and kiss them and have my mom there, you know how I feel about You surprised me? Yeah. yeah I'm so happy. Thank you. <laughs> you think she's coming? Said, yeah, she's coming. Just keep watching. <laughs> she's just, she's just a pretty cool lady, man. She's you can go with me? Would you please? I'm nervous. All these thoughts are playing through my head. What if something happens to the airplane? What if I get sick and I don't make it back? All of that stuff is playing, but to see them come through at that moment was was priceless. Yo. So a lot of people kept saying, you know, I, I can't believe you get to go on this great vacation. And I'm like, <laughs> first of all, I need y'all to stop saying vacation because it's not. I am being entrusted with the lives of young people. We are going out of the country making sure that they are kept up with, that they are safe, that they are in the right place, that they don't get sick, that they eat, that, that nobody bothers them. That all of these things, all of these things that you would do for your own children, this this little girl had to become mine. Hey, Sugarfoot. How are you? You too. You too, You know it. You know it. Hi. Her mom came. Every eye will be on my side at all. You'll need to You're probably gonna get tired of me. Cause I'm like, where are you? Two grandmas. Hello, how are you? This is good. I am my mother. mother. It is so nice to meet you. Her brother, her father, all of them, to look me in my eyes and say. Please take care of our baby. And I understood. You got three choices they're gonna give you, and then an appetizer choice too, and you get a, a Ben and Jerry's ice cream started off. It's really, really delicious. If you don't want your ice cream, just save it. I'll come back and get it, okay? <laughs> this time. Again, all special meals have been spoken for and a sticker placed on the back of your seat. If you have requested a special meal and you do not receive a sticker on the back of your seat, please make yourself known to a member of the cabin staff. Thank you. Very nice to get 
We're in Amsterdam. Oh, we made it to Amsterdam. It was a seven and a half hour flight. Uh, but it was a great flight. Great flight. Watched a lot of movies. We ate real food. Uh, got up to stretch a little bit, but we are here. Come on, let's see. Come on up. Oh, we doing a selfie? No, I'm recording. You take a picture. I know. <laughs> so the Amsterdam airport is like crazy. I mean, I'm walking around and I'm looking and it's not just like little shops. You know, get your bag of chips. Gucci and Hermes. What, what, what kind of money y'all rolling with here at the airport? Y'all banking like this? All right, Amsterdam, I see you. Talking John. Um, but for the most part, everybody I've come in contact with has been speaking English. So I'm not able to film the uh, second leg of the flight, the 10 hours from Amsterdam to um, South Africa, because that flight didn't go as well as the first one. 10 hours, 10 straight, people pop, 10 of them. Flying for a long period of time like that, um, it can affect your body in different ways. And let's say that um, something on the inside start working on the outside. I'm just trying to live. I'm just trying to live and not die and take the people sitting next to me with me. It was bad. It was it was bad time. It was it was it was bad time. So at this beautiful hotel and I mean they getting ready to party. Saints a party. Made it to the hotel. It is as they say three minutes. Three minutes to New Year's here and we're going to shout and celebrate. Now they gonna dance and shout the way they do it. I'm gonna do it the only way I know how to do it. Look at the babies, they sleepy. They don't care about me. Traveling for 17 hours. I don't blame them. <laughs> happy birthday wishing you and your family a happy safe festive season may every day of your year ahead be filled with endless joy positivity prosperity and we look forward to seeing you again in 2020 oh they told me happy birthday oh oh so essentially I got to celebrate my birthday for two days two of them and it was it was the best birthday that you could ever have yeah. at the Black Rhino Lodge, aka Jurassic Park. Yeah. And there was a lion that uh, pulled your head out through the window. That's recent. Yeah. Did you hear the gates that's supposed to be protecting us? See this openness here? This is what we're getting into. 